it's Jill with Crickflex and I am working on some centerpieces that I've never done this this um, called Dragon Tails and they are so cute. I love them. I'm just going to put them together now um, and answer some questions along the way uh, that I can think of and remember. I haven't been able to answer much right on my um, my YouTube. I've just been extremely busy. Um, I don't know why with with the ho holidays and 12 grandkids and a uh, husband that can't walk. And other than that, guys, things are pretty slow around here. Um, that was sarcastic completely. I don't think I emphasized enough how sarcastic it was. It's been really hard because I do everything and that my husband used to do. And I sure hope he hasn't forgotten how when he gets his his permission to put weight on his foot again. Thursday, I think, he we take him in and find out and hopefully, hopefully we put him in a boot and he'll be able to walk. Uh, or at least start putting some weight and practice walking again. <laughs> if he can, he hasn't walked in eight weeks, six weeks, eight weeks. I don't know how long it's been. It's been a long time. It seems like it's been years. But anyway, um, someone asked me about what printer I use. Um, I'm not going to keep putting the stuff up there, Shannon. I know it's easy for me to just copy and put it on there. Um, but if you if you saw all the troubles that I run into every time I make a, um, something that I can just copy and paste or attach or whatever, things never go real well. I have to do such a roundabout way now to even do YouTube that by the time you see my YouTube, it's probably <laughs> Lord knows how old. Um, it just, I've just had a lot of issues with it. So probably user issues, I would venture to say more than actual problems with, um, my, well, my computer is, they're telling me, which I've mentioned this, that my, the life of a Mac is five years after that. It becomes obsolete. Mine's just about ready to turn five. Cannot believe, but it's really, I'm trying right now to take, I have like 20,000 pictures on there and I've been working for the past week trying to tra transfer all those to a hard drive and then I will back them up with an additional hard drive. And I'm taking them off the cloud, I'm taking them off everywhere because I don't know what it is that's causing everything to run so small or st so slow. And I thought it was my internet. So I called in tech support to troubleshoot with them and I had 32 um pieces of equipment attached, which he said would affect. And so he went in and, and um, disconnected all of them to see if things were better. And they were a little bit better, I think, but I think it wasn't doing what I normally do. So it's really hard to make a, um, a validation that that actually fixed it. So anyway, I haven't, um, I, I just don't have time right now to be writing um, up what I use and where I get it, whatever. Somebody asked, I'll uh, try and remember to tell. But right now, I use the Epson um, 16500 Equitake printer. Uh, it does not use cartridges, it, use tan it uses tanks. And I absolutely love it. I do love it. But I do not think, people ask me to, what I would recommend. I like the Epson because I love the way it prints. I love the EcoTank because for me, it was affordable in the sense that it wasn't, there's some out there that are just ridiculously expensive. Um, this one, I think oh, it um, lists for 1200, but you can get it on sale for eight something all the time. But you save, if you do a lot of printing, you have no idea how much ink you save because ink cartridges are um, really expensive and they don't last. And I always have to, I don't know. I just, I don't like them. So I ended up getting, um, Jen and, and Amy all have equal tanks as well. And the savings on the ink pays for itself, um, over and over again. Cause I, I changed the ink maybe, I changed, added to it the other day just because I was running, cleaning the, the head and then I just thought I'd cap it off like you do a gas tank. So I filled it up, but it's never, I mean, I think I'm on my, still, my original either first or second um, bottles 
of ink, each bottle will fill the tank twice. Each bottle of the, the colors are 20 bucks or less. And again, they fill it twice. And then the black is, I think it's like 29, it might be. Um, that one you can actually fill the tank. I can fill it. I've never run out of black. For some reason, it just, it's it's been awesome. But anyway, um, that was my question with that, answer that one question. And I know there's more. I'm going to show you this first though. Um, this is one of the little dragons. And I went heavy duty on the glitter and um, the little spikes or little head things here. And his backpack that he has on, which I believe is a backpack. I'm guessing when I turn around and see the other side, I don't see the backpack. But I think it's a backpack. Um, and I, I super glittered up everything on him. Okay, and I don't have stands up here, so I'll take pictures downstairs. I won't put them on the stands here. And here's the yellow guy, and he's printed <laughs> on both sides. I was having issues with my printer. Uh, lately, it's been paper jam, and I don't know why, but it scares me to have that machine. I've had the other ones break maybe after a couple years, and I have to replace them. But I can get them for 180 bucks, um, the one with the cartridges. However, that one, for the cost of it, I probably had it a year and a half, maybe. I don't remember when I got it. But I've been getting a lot of paper jams on it. And I'm terrified of having to replace it because it is expensive. And I am I do not want to be replacing um, that along with having to replace my, my iMac which I really believe when I take the pictures off, my iMac is probably still not going to run the way it should be. So I'm doing what, what um, Apple told me to do, and I don't think it's going to work. I think I'm just going to have to bite the bullet and buy a new one. Then I'll have my, um, my niece, my, my niece uh, sets up networks. That's what she does for a living. Um, for businesses and I call her over I did that I didn't go on site she goes on site to phys up, physically fit up the set up the equipment what I did was I worked with the technicians to configure the 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 um, whatever they needed to, to provide their internet uh, they would I would do, configure that because of course it has to be set up somewhere with your whatever it is that you, you you're buying i can't even remember the name of it you know i'm um not dementia but because i don't work there anymore and i don't care um what else is doing my husband and i are in week three with our intermittent fasting my husband is doing fantastic he has not cheated once even with the holidays he follows it and um I haven't told him. I, I, <laughs> Christmas Day, whoa, did I cheat really bad. Not only what I ate, I don't think I stopped. I think I grazed for not six hours, more like eight. The food, you know, I said, I'm going to wait until after um, New Year's before I start punishing myself for my cheating on, the, on my program. But this morning, my husband woke up and he said, God, I'm hungry. And I'm looking at the time thinking our hours to eat are noon to six. That's it. And I said, well, do you want something to drink or whatever? And he said, no, he can hold off. Well, I was up here working and he fell asleep on the couch. And he was texting me, telling me he was awake. And my phone was shut off from when I went to the movie yesterday. So I didn't hear it. So then I hear him at the bottom of the stairs yelling up at me asked me if I was trying to kill him. He was starving. It was noon. So, anyway, that's another story there for you. Um, also, somebody, I don't know who it was, and I made a comment back, not what I wanted to say, but stay professional, because that's, that's the thing. I want everybody to, that, that thinks, I go over this all the time. People just, just are rude. I don't understand it. They're just downright rude. But anyway, they were looking at my dollhouse and said something about uh, interesting filming, but my filming tech, um, I wasn't good at filming, which didn't help 
the the viewing of the dollhouse. Well, number one, I just do this for fun. Um, and I am not going to Hollywood to make movies or anything, guys. And I don't get paid for this. And I don't, I don't act like I'm a professional photographer or anything like that. So, I know, I thought that was kind of rude and dumb. I mean, that I could have done a better job at filming. Well, you know what? I did I, I'm not taking classes. I'm, I'm too old for that. I just do it for fun. So, anyway, I didn't didn't say what I wanted to say, but um, I'm not going to answer that question. Other than the fact that I'm not I'm not a photographer, and end of story. You're going to see a whole lot worse videos out there than that one. I'll tell you that. Um, and another thing, I found out on Christmas morning. Uh, my son, I said I wanted a family picture with everybody before tearing open their presents. And my son said, well, you know, I was talking about using the timer. Blah, blah, blah. He said, no, I'll just take the picture. And then, then afterwards we'll take a picture of me and it will Photoshop it and whatever. And I said, okay, that's fine. So um, my daughter was missing her husband and the baby because... Um, the baby hadn't slept all night and was sleeping, so he stayed home with him. Then when he when he got up, he came over. Um, but so he isn't in the film when you see the massive crowd. I might attach it at the end. I don't know. You can tell me if you want, and I'll do it on the next one. It was really funny though, because my son gets up on the chair to film and he's telling everybody, you know, get in line, be quiet and stuff, and you can hear all of us rustling around trying to say, hey, get back, you know, telling everybody where to to stand so that. They would be seen because the kids are little and whatever. So my son's getting ready to take the picture. And um, he looks up and says, tells everybody to smile. And says, smile, Kiki's pregnant. And everybody just kind of stopped and looked at each other. And we just, I'm dumb, I was dumbfounded by what he said. I thought he was just joking. And I thought, oh, why would you, you know, or I didn't know what was going on. Anyway, Kiki's pregnant. So I have two new grandkids, two new grandbabies to do this summer. They're four weeks apart, Jen and her. We get, they're guesstimating four weeks apart. Um, but I just, I was jumping for joy. I was so excited. I was hoping so bad that she wouldn't have trouble getting pregnant because um, my girls insisted that she'd been trying forever and a day and for over a year. And I talked to my son about it and he said, no, we weren't. And I talked to my daughter-in-law about it and she said, no, we weren't really, you know, because she was switching jobs and, and whatnot and it wasn't, but my daughters all thought she was going to have a hard time. Well, you know what, Aunt Jana and, and all of my kids... All of my kids decided one day they wanted to have a baby, and the next day they were pregnant. Um, took me four years or six years to get pregnant with my first. I had all sorts of problems, but though once I got that bit figured out, and I was pregnant all the time. Um, but she, I was nervous about that because my kids kept saying, "I don't know. You know, I'm afraid she's going to have trouble getting pregnant. It's going to be really hard for her because Kiki's or not, not Kiki Jenna's pregnant and all this." And come to find out, when Jenna announced that she was pregnant, Kiki already knew she was pregnant. She just doesn't want to put it public until um, she's 12 weeks. She's 10 weeks now, or 8, I don't know. Um, so she said after she uh, is 12 weeks, I can put it on Facebook. And then I'm going to put the film up on Christmas. But just for everybody else, because I know... Her friends aren't watching my YouTube channel, so she doesn't care if anybody knows um, other than putting it on Facebook for, I don't know, friends or whatever. I don't know why, she, why, but that's pretty much how all my kids were. They didn't want to announce it until they were 12 weeks. Man, I announced it before I found out what I really was. I was so excited. So excited when I finally got pregnant after six years. I was 28 years old when I had my first and when I went into the hospital to have her, it was kind of funny because all the ones that were in that hospital, like I was living in Venezuela at the time, came home to have the baby. 
and um, couldn't believe how young everybody was. I felt like an old lady. That's probably all in my head, but nowadays that's pretty common. But 40 years ago, that wasn't common to have children that late. I had my last one at 38. So, and now I'm, my last one, which is my baby, is having a baby. And I'm so excited. So, I said on a few fin videos that I felt like 2020 was going to bring me a couple more grandkids. So, in the year 2020, I will have 14 grandkids. 14. Who would have ever thought that I will have 14 little cherubs? And it's amazing. To me, it's amazing. I think it's freaking awesome. Um, and of course, I was going just absolutely nuts when I realized she was pregnant because I was really worried. And so I was jumping up and down like a crazy lady. And um, then I started crying. And I started crying. I was so excited. And then I felt bad thinking maybe Jenna, because when Jenna and Andrew told us they were pregnant, it was like, oh, that's awesome. Man. You know what? When it's a third, it's different. It's just, I mean, that's not that you're not excited or anything, but when it's your first and you don't know and you want to make sure all your children that want children can have children. So when I found out, but um, everybody understood, you know, I didn't want Jenna to feel bad because I was going absolutely nuts, which, you know, I go there a lot. Went and saw my mom on Christmas Eve. I don't know if I said, told anybody that. She got to hold um, the new baby, baby book. Um, she did not who I, know who I was, and she did not know who, any, she know who any of us were. But we made her smile, and she got to hold the baby. And um, I felt better, however, I would rather, it's kind of a, a mixed emotion with, with whether or not I was hoping she wouldn't remember me. Um, that was what my, her brother said. He, it was easier that, it was hard. It's hard when they don't know who you are, but it's easier to know they aren't suffering. If they remember you and you leave, they're very, very sad. Um, my mother, um, the last few times I've been up there when I've left, she's been okay. You know, she's fine. She's like, goes back to her room with her friends or whatever, and she's totally fine. So in that aspect, it is better. It's very, very sad. And um, I have been taking every reading. That's one of the reasons for the fasting for me is it's really good at warding off dementia. At least that's the research that I've read, the doctors say. Um, fasting is good for a lot of things, but I'm doing it, um, trying to fight the dementia. My mother had it, has it, my grandmother had it, my great-grandmother had it. Um, my uncle that just passed away was on the onset, he had Parkinson's. Um, and starting dementia. So I got the sauna and I'm doing the exercise and and doing the the um, eating with the fasting and I have always been such a dimwit my entire life at forgetting things all the time that I probably they wouldn't know know the difference if I started up um, with dementia maybe I already have it I don't know because you would not believe how much I forget. My husband keeps saying, don't worry about it, that's just your age. And he said, it's probably not even my age, it's probably because I have too much on my plate. Okay, um, the next question that I had from somebody is, I forgot. I looked at my going to try and remember all the questions and then I got carried away. Uh, but thank you very, very, very much to those of you that leave comments that say, I like hearing your stories. You are my favorite people because you know what? I know you, this is repetition, this work. You've seen me do it 1,000 videos and it's not anything new and you're not learning anything new, but it's mainly kind of just a tit to tate We're just visiting. This little guy, this little dragon's got gold crowns on his teeth. That's what it looks like, gold crowns on his teeth. These guys are so cute. I've never, ever heard of this cartoon. It's so cute. But anyway, um, I did start posting um, pictures of, not pictures, posting on my, on my shop, the gnomes that, that um, Amy has started doing. Um, 
she probably, I think she still has people coming as in today. I mean, every day somebody's coming to pick them up. I don't know how many she sold, but it was well over a hundred in five days. Uh, so she was quite busy, but they are absolutely adorable. And now what she's doing is she's making them um, with the hats um, can be a sport. So she made some that were Bucky Badger and she made some Green Bay Packers and she made some, I don't know what the names of the teams were, but um, I will be shipping those and adding those to our shop. I will not be filming those. Those are Amy's thing. That's my daughter's forte. I'm leaving her with it. She, you know, you have to have all, there's a lot of stuff you got to have to to do and have that many to pick from because your furs all need to be different for, for them and, and the fabrics and things. And um, she she spent days, her husband did too. My gosh, it was too funny because every time he'd walk in from supper, she'd have to send him back to the store for more material. Um, Joanne, I think it was Joanne Fabrics that she, she was able to find the fleecy um, Christmas plaids and stuff. So he goes to the store to get the material. But he's unbelievably good at picking it out. Really good job. But anyway, I added those to the shop. Um, I, I posted one picture of one of the mugs that we did. We did it out of the buffalo plaid. Um, Amy made one for each one of her kids. No, actually, she didn't make one. She ordered them. And then we ordered the machine to start adding. Um, here's the plans that, that I would like to do. Is like, for instance, this party... A lot of folks go and spend a lot, a lot of money. Um, they send me these pictures and they're unbelievable. Where's my glue? Um, but anyway, they they spend a lot of money on these. So what I want to do is make something that's permanent that you can use for whatever. Uh, you can use it you, as a decoration. Uh, it all depends what you want. But I'm going to start incorporating a lot of, uh, I would say, non... You're not going to have to throw them away after the party. You're going to have things that you can keep, like, let's say, even for baby shower or baby's first birthday, and, and this is the theme. I will take the sublimation technique, um, and I will be doing... Like, this is a metal, a, a tin cup. Absolutely love these. This is what all the kids got for Christmas with the buffalo print on it with the name. But they will be all sorts of different options of this. We're also getting the, um, the sublimation we're going to be doing. Um, what I want to do, even in vinyl, I have printable vinyl um, iron-on. Uh, the, there's a brand, I can't even think of the name of it now. Um, I have, everybody, anybody who does vinyl probably knows what I'm talking about. Um, but uh, I'm going to, like for this, it would be so adorable if the birthday i think this one's for shower though i don't know if it's a birthday shower but it would be so cute to have a onesie or a little t-shirt on whoever's birthday it was with this on it um to match to go at the party like if, it, if it's an infant turning one a little onesie a t-shirt for toddler uh, a bigger kid a t-shirt but to personalize it put the name on it put on the the, the year, the birthday event, whatever year it was. Um, we're going to experiment with a whole bunch of different things. Right now, I just put a mug up there because because of the holidays, that's all I've had time to do. And barely had time to do that. But um, anyway, we're going to be adding those, and there'll be all sorts of different kinds of things, not just cups, uh, plates. But I want to do some that are permanent, that when somebody gets all this stuff for their party. And I've seen the setups that are just unbelievable. They have something permanent as a keepsake. Sake. And I'm one, I am huge on keepsakes. I have everything in my kids. They're baby blankets, they're out that they wore from the hospital. They, I mean, I keep everything. Um, no, I shouldn't say everything. Important things, to me anyway. I even have their first tooth that fell out. I have each one of their first tooth that fell out. I had one mounted in, in gold and wore it around my neck. It was amber's, but it looked like a pearl the way they had done it. That was something I had gotten done in Venezuela. And I, I went somewhere and my chain fell off and I lost my tooth, lost her tooth. I was not happy about that. But anyway, um, there we got the last one done. I'm going to go to 
um, Hobby Lobby right now, I did go on and order some laces from China again, and somebody asked me for that that uh, link. Um, the link that I used where I got the bukus of the laces, I cannot find, and I haven't had time to really dig deep, and so I can't tell you where, where they're from. And I don't know how much time I'm going to spend on looking for it because I ordered them from someplace else. Another thing that I added to my shop is the boards with that, the boards that are wrapped like with a wire or a string or anything. And at the top they say, um, the one was, it was Christmas cards, but I can't remember what it said. It was, and we're, Jenna did the board. It was done in stencil. She cut it out on the silhouette and made her stencil and put it on the board, wrapped the string, and then we had these clothespins that we used on it, and that's for clipping the picture. But what we're going to be doing is making the boards where you can pick, like if you have a special holiday, a, a special thing coming up, a special birthday, um, it, it, coming up with a saying that maybe will go along with all the holidays of the year, which is another thing we're going to be doing with the gnomes, that gnomes are going to be for every holiday of the year. So they're not going to be just at Christmas. They're going to be at every holiday and they're adorable. I will put them at the trailer of this video and I think that's it. I'm going to go to Hobby Lobby, see what kind of haul I can do. If I do a good haul, I will do a video on it. Otherwise, I won't. But anyway, that's it for today and I hope you have a great day. And if I don't film before New Year's, have a very, very happy New Year's. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.